Hello students. So today we are going to see the, uh, in the continuation of the previous uh, uh, video. So the first thing we are going to see is, is com components of the computer. So components of the computer consist of uh, various parts. Okay, you are seeing this diagram. So this is the uh, input uh, unit and this is the control unit. ALU inter, internal memory, sec, uh, primary memory, secondary memory. So the primary memory is also known as main memory. Okay, and the output. So these are all the components that are available, not only in your computer but every computer, uh, not only computer, but also in the uh, mobile units. Okay, or any system that that is processing information. So the first thing is input unit. Input unit is the uh, device or any unit that are providing data to the computer. Okay, that feeds information into the computer is known as input unit. The most commonly used input unit is uh, keyboard and mouse. Okay, so uh, you can see that keyboard will have so many keys uh, and the mouse will have some buttons when the when you move the mouse the pointer which is in the mouse will also uh, move okay uh, you can see that a keyboard when you press any any key in the keyboard then it it will send that uh, information that user is pressing this uh, a key okay so it will all happen in a very small duration of time uh, so that you can see that it is uh, happening multitasked okay so it, it is happening uh, in a uh, in a parallel form okay so here you can see that uh, the next unit is cpu the cpu consists of a control unit alu and internal memory okay so here you can see that uh, control unit um, control unit is the unit that is responsible for uh, controlling all the processor all the process in the uh, in the in the computer okay so the control unit is the flow of uh, controls the flow of data between the cpu memory and the input device and any output device okay next here comes the cpu cpu uh, ca consists of uh, central processing unit alu and the internal memory okay so the cpu executes software instruction and it also controls the operation of all the other components such as memory unit input unit and output unit it accepts binary data as an input, process the data according to the instruction and provide the result as output. Okay. Next is ALU. ALU is a part of CPU where various components computing functions are performed on data. The ALU performs uh, arithmetic operations such as addition, subtraction, multiplication division and logical operation so this this is also responsible for making some decision making okay so decision making ability is also available in this alu and you can next see that uh, the output unit the output unit is any hardware component that can conveys information to the user in an understandable form say for example monitor and printer okay so the most commonly used uh, output devices is the monitor and the printer so this monitor will display the information to the user visually but this printer will print the hard copy and should give it to the user so the next thing is memory unit so there are two types of memory main memory and secondary memory so main memory is also known as primary memory so this primary memory is temporary storage okay 
or volatile memory okay so the content which is stored in the primary will be will, will be erased okay will be uh, will be deleted or gets removed when the power goes off okay so uh, whatever content that is stored inside this uh, primary memory will be deleted after the uh, after the power goes off okay or the power switched off okay next is uh, secondary memory now the secondary memory is not like the primary memory it permanently stores all the information that the cpu using okay so that is primary memory sorry secondary memory uh, the example for uh, a primary memory is ram random access memory and uh, example for uh, uh permanent memory that is secondary memory is rom read only memory so ram is a series of uh, chip that is attached to the motherboard and uh, uh, rom rom is a uh, rom means hard disk okay hard disk drive it consists of magnetic tapes sorry magnetic tapes uh, disks uh, uh the information will be stored in uh, the magnetic disk into zeros and ones okay so the next thing is uh, input unit and output units so you all know what is uh, input unit keyboard and you can see that uh, another input unit, unit is scanner <laughs> It scans the information, uh, print a document, and store it as an image format or the new document that the user reads needs. Okay. Next is fingerprint scanner. So this fingerprint scanner is uh, you would have seen this in the uh, the other card scanning device. Okay. So it can it scans your fingerprints and store that information. Okay, so these are all the different types of uh, input unit. Next is trackball. So it is a it is a inverse of mouse. Okay, so when you move the mouse, uh, the pointer in the display will move. But here, this trackball consists of a ball in the center of it. Uh, when you move the ball, then the uh, then the pointer will move according to the movement of the ball the mouse will be stationary fixed on the table okay next is retinal scanner so this scanner this scanner will scan the retina okay retina of your uh, eyes so your uh, retina is unique as uh, as no nobody, nobody in the world as your retina pattern okay so it gets the retina pattern and store that in the uh, memory okay so that when you when you scan it uh, when the next time you scan it it, it compares your retina and the uh, and the retina which is stored inside the hard disk and it decides the user okay so that is the use of this retinal scanner the next thing is light pen so this light pen will be used as a input unit so just by touching on the screen you can create a, a, you can create a shortcut key or you can draw something so something like that can be done by using this light pen so the next is uh, optical character reader or barcode okay so here you can see that this is the uh, optical character reader so it's like a, a barcode scanner okay the same thing or both are the same okay mm, this this is a uh, you can see that this will be available in all the supermarkets okay so the next thing is uh, mic okay <clears throat> voice input system uh, headphones and mic okay so this thing uh, will uh, record information record voice information and 
<clears throat> so next is digital camera so this is used to capture uh, image or video the next thing is touch screen so nowadays all the mobiles are equipped with this uh, touch screen so this touch screen <coughs> is uh, is 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 an input device when you touch uh, any anywhere in this uh, anywhere in the screen the touch the touch screen uh, identifies the user as touch here and uh, mark its coordinates by x y comma x y axis so even you can create multiple points multiple points of contact to the screen so that is known as that's the screen so next is uh, key error so this is not uh, used nowadays you can see that this is a it is a glow slice structure you can just wear it in your hand uh, when you move the uh, hand it will automatically gets gets the movement from the hand and when you press any key that is attached to your fingers will be uh, given information to the computer so the next thing is output device so computer output device is a monitor and the printer so monitor has a different types of monitor lcd monitor led monitor cathode ray monitor vga vga man vga video graphics array monitor so these are all the different types of uh, monitors okay so these monitors are uh, um, used to display information to the uh, user so the next thing is printer there are two types of printer uh, in impact printer and non impact printer so this impact printer will have some striking mechanism or have hammer like uh, mechanism in the uh printer so it prints the um, it prints the character uh, on the paper just by hammering the uh, paper with the ribbon with the ink filament okay so that is an impact printer so the example for impact printer is your uh, typewriting machine okay the old typewriting machine you can see that when you press any letter a stick uh, at the end of the stick there, there will be a letter okay so this letter goes and strike the paper okay strike the paper means hammer the paper with the uh, ribbon so that whatever character that is present on the hammer will be printed on the keyboard sorry uh, will be printed on the paper So the next thing is uh, a non impact printer so this this printer will will not impact on the print, uh, paper instead it sprays the uh, ink or uh, sprays the character on the paper okay so this is the there's there are another uh, type of paper sorry to printer uh, laser printer so this consists of uh, laser beams that charges the drum and the powder ink powder will be uh, filled on the charged particle charge part and the charged a uh, ink will be printed on the paper okay so this is the way of printing information by the printers okay so there are certain standards here uh, ppm means paper per minute or dpa means dots per inch and uh, there are so many uh, measuring units to uh, calculate the printing units okay so the next thing is uh, speaker so to get the output uh, output as voice you can use this uh, speaker the next thing is multimedia projector 
so this projects the output to the uh, user the last uh, topic is booting of computer so this uh, boot, booting of uh, computer has uh, two parts here uh, power on self test okay POST means power self, self test so this is a uh, <clears throat> this is a software uh, this is a checking process whatever component that are connected to the computer uh, is performing well or uh, it has any error will be checked by this post power on self test so after completing it will boot on to the uh, operating system so operating system is an uh, is a software or instruction set of instruction that will be loaded in the hard disk so this booting process will copy the instruction from the hard disk to the main memory okay so that is RAM so the RAM will execute the uh, information so uh, this can be done by using this uh, booting process there are two types of booting process cold boot and warm boot so cold boot means the uh, the booting process that is done by the computer itself is known as cold cold boot and warm boot means the booting process that is done by the user okay so cold boot you can see that the information that are not saved will be uh, appearing again uh, but warm boot the information which is not stored or saved will not be appearing again okay so that is the difference between cold boot and warm boot uh, so with this we'll finish the class today we'll see the uh, next new chapter in the next class thank you students